Uh, anyways, um, as you know, I'm Andrew, this is my housemate Michael, and uh, today we have selected eight art songs. Uh, there's no real thematic link between these pieces. Uh, we have selected songs in Italian, French, English, and German from several different composers and from four different centuries. Uh, some of these songs are about love, others are about sadness and longing. If anything, the program represents a collection of pieces that we personally enjoy singing and playing. Many of these songs are happy and uplifting, which I think uh, fits a certain purpose. Uh, so, you know, a program full of songs about loneliness and isolation would probably not help anyone's spirits during this time of quarantine. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you all enjoy this recital. I will provide a brief introduction to each piece and composer. And uh, then after uh, I finish the live stream, I will post uh, a sort of uh, some descriptions and some notes about uh, each of the songs that we have done. Uh, if you'd like to follow along, though, in the meantime, you're more than welcome to Google each of these pieces and find the lyrics and any background information among them. Uh, but anyway, we will begin this recital with two uh, Italian songs. The first is called Caro Mio Ben, which was written in the 18th century by the Italian composer Giuseppe Giordani. The title translates roughly to My Darling Dear. Its lyrics tell a story of love and anguish, as the singer tells his love that he can't live without her and that she should stop being so cruel to him. Anyway. <clears throat> is still all going. Uh, yes, good, all clear. Nice. <clears throat> right, so our next song is called Pur di Cesti o Bocca Bella. This piece was written by the Italian composer Antonio Lotti in the late 17th century. It translates to Mouth So Charmful or Beautiful Mouth. It has very few lyrics, so I will actually read the, the whole lyrics out to you in full right now. Beautiful mouth, at last you have spoken that gentle, lovable yes that makes my joy complete. In his own honour, love has opened you with a kiss, O sweet fountain of pleasure. <clears throat> uh, right. 
Ah, so, uh, these next two songs are by the German Romantic composer Robert Schumann. The first we will perform is Widmung, uh, which in English means dedication. Uh, its lyrics come from a poem by Friedrich Rückert, and uh, in it uh, the singer tells his lover of his unwavering love and devotion. And this one's also uh, quite interesting in that uh, Robert Schumann uh, gave it to his uh, soon-to-be wife at the time, Clara Schumann, as a, a sort of uh, engagement present. <coughs> takes us into a more somber mood. Um, it is called Stille Tränen, which means silent tears, and it is also by Schumann, this time set to a poem by Justinus Körner. Körner's poem uh, describes the silent tears that fall from heaven as we sleep, helping us to awake happy in the next morning. Though it is sorrowful, it hints at the happiness that is to come. Yeah. 
Gabriel Fauré was a French composer of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He wrote hundreds of songs on many different themes. We will be performing uh, two songs by him today. The first song, Après une rêve, or uh, After a Dream, is set to a poem by Romain Boussine. The singer tells us about the dream he had of his lover and how sad he is to wake up and realize it was only a dream. We now return to a brighter mood. A chanson d'amour, or love song, also by Faure, is set to words by a poem by Armand Sylvestre. It is a short love song where the singer recounts everything he loves about his lover. Mm-hmm. 
ceux qui te fait mal de tes pieds jusqu'à tes cheveux. Ô oh, toi, vers qui monte en mes vœux, ô oh, ma farouche, ô oh, ma rebelle. J'aime tes yeux, j'aime ton flanc, ô oh, ma rebelle, ô oh, ma farouche. J'aime tes yeux, j'aime ta bouche, ô oh, mes baisers, c'est plus serrant. Ô oh, mes baisers, c'est plus serrant. We have two more songs for you this evening. <laughs> First is The Vagabond. The Vagabond is a song by the English composer Ralph Vaughan Williams from his song cycle, The Songs of Travel. The words are by Robert Louis Stevenson, who you may recognize as the author of the novel Treasure Island. <clears throat> In this song, a traveler tells us about his life on the road. Give to me the life I love, let the lame go by me. Give the jolly heaven above, and the byway nigh me. Bed in the bush with stars to see, bread I dip in the river. There's the life for a man like me. Soon or late, let what will be o'er me. Give the face of earth around and the road before me. Wealth I seek, not hope, nor love, nor a friend to know me. All I seek, the heaven above.
And now time for our last song of the evening. <clears throat> Nur wer die Sehnsucht kennt, or None But the Lonely Heart, is a poem by Johann Wolfgang Goethe, set to the music, in this instance, by Tchaikovsky. In this song, the singer appeals to those who are sad and long for someone. This is perhaps the piece most closely in tune with the experience of isolation many of us are going through right now. As one of the verses goes, Alone, cut off from all joy, I gaze at the firmament in, the, in that direction. Ah, he who loves and knows me is far away. Sweet. 